Hey, what's up, Improvement Warriors? Jason Yun back again with you. We've got pre-workout B for you. So these are exercises, movements, stretches, smashes, mobilizations to get you primed for the workout. More than likely, you're not going to be able to do all of them, but if you have time, try to get at least one in and two if possible. Okay? But every time you do it, your workout, you can come back and do another one. Just always depends. So this is a, uh, I'm gonna give you four of them today. Now we're gonna work the first one, the mobilization or the stretch. We've got two stretches. Mobilization more for the wrists. So we're gonna work on our flexors that way and extensors that way. So what you do, this will help with carpal tunnel, all that stuff, opening up if you have pain when doing push-ups. Okay, this will help as well. So what you're gonna do, You've got the flexor stretch, so you want to turn your hands as far back to you as you can. So you want your fingers pointing towards you, and then you're going to come forward as far as you can. You shouldn't feel any stretch here. If you do, then you've got really poor flexibility, and then you just slide back as far as you can. Now you should feel the stretch and come back. And just keep doing that. Go back as far as you can, trying to go a little further. You don't want the palms coming up at all like that. Okay, keep the palms flat. Okay, you can do 10 to 20 or 30 reps if you want. Okay, and then you're gonna flip it around. Okay, now you're down here. You can either hold or you can do both at the same time. All right, but just coming forward and then coming back as far as you can. Okay, be very careful with this position because this is not a strong position. Okay, so we can't go too far without doing too much damage but we can make changes ever so slightly small and consistent changes so back and forth 10 20 30 reps going there okay then the next thing we have is our smash so the smash we're going to be doing a quad smash okay with the foam roller now this is different from just regular foam rolling. So this is foam rolling 2.0 as I like to call it. So foam rolling 1.0 is you're just rolling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Once you, once your body gets adapted to that, which should be about a week or two, it starts becoming too easy and it's not gonna be enough pressure to make any changes. So foam rolling 2.0 on the quad, start just above the kneecap and then you're just gonna roll to the side roll to the other side and just back and forth now if you find an area more tight that's a trigger point we need to get rid of that trigger point and just stay there shimmy back and forth on it make sure you're breathing as deeply as you can because if you hold your breath your muscles will tense up and it's not going to work okay and just back and forth back and forth once you clear that area slide an inch or two down do the same thing back and forth okay slide down back and forth now the whole quad could take you 10 minutes per quad okay but we're just trying to get it out so if you need to you can come back finish the rest of the quad when you have time but just get as much of those trigger points out as you can because if we let those trigger points manifest it's going to slowly and slowly cut down our mobility okay and that's how we get old you just don't get old overnight, okay? Use your mobility or lose it. Recover from a workout or don't, it's up to you, okay? My goal is to keep you healthy, working out for the rest of your life. All right, so that's two right there. Then the next one, you've got uh, another band stretch. So I showed you this in pre-workout A. This is pre-workout B. We're gonna go more towards the inner thigh. Okay, so again, take your band right under the ball of the foot, then take the strap, wrap it around again, so we got it nice and tight. Okay. Then you are gonna come down. I should have done the other leg, but whatever. Okay, foot is flat against the wall. You're coming up. Now you're gonna take your band, camera work, tricky here, 
All right, take the band in your hand like so. Then you're gonna take it around your head and just leave it here if this is easy for you, or if you're just starting here, okay? Then you're gonna take your leg all the way out to the side. The leg is bent, okay? You shouldn't feel any tension. Now I'm going to extend my leg. When my leg is straight, that's when I feel the tension. Bend, extend, bend, extend. If this starts getting easy, you can extend this band hand, okay? That'll apply more pressure on the band. You can also pull back on this, and that'll add more tension as well as you're pressing out, okay? Or my bad, push in, push down and in on the band when you're pressing that leg out. So you really feel this on the inner side, groin area of your thigh. Same thing, 10, 20, or 30 reps on each side, okay? As you're doing it, try and keep your foot dorsiflexed, so pulling up, okay? Plantar flexion is going that way, dorsiflexion coming this way. So try and keep your toes up as much as you can as you're pressing out on that band. And then the last one is for the rotator cuff. Okay, a lot of people get shoulder issues. A lot of people get shoulder issues. This will help with that. Light band, so I got a micro band here. Elbow tucked into the side, it stays there. And then I'm just driving out, driving out. Okay, keeping my hand in line with the knot on the band. If it is too easy, I just step more out. If it's too hard, I just step a little closer. Okay, and just go in here, 10 to 20 reps. And then to do the other side, you would just turn around, but you would go this way. And so I would get it here, bringing my hand all the way back and then extend it. Okay. So both sides, 10 to 20 reps. You can do multiple sets of those just going back and forth. And I know that's a lot of exercises, but just choose one or two if you have time for your pre-workout. Okay, so this will help set the mind. It will help you get a better workout. Remember, areas of importance, anywhere there's pain, anywhere there's tightness, anywhere there's soreness. Otherwise, we need to constantly be working on the whole body, making sure it's nice and healthy. That's it. I'll see you next one. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior.